Hello everybody and welcome back to the Miami Heat franchise here in NBA 2K18. And to start off this episode, we have a three-team trade. And okay, so let me try and get this right. Isaiah Whitehead, so the Heat are trading Isaiah Whitehead and Furkan Korkmaz. Uh, Whitehead going to the 76ers and Korkmaz going to the Mavericks. Now the Mavericks are trading Lance, no, sorry. The Sixers are trading Lance Stevenson to the Mavericks and the Mavericks are trading Dennis Smith Jr. to the Heat. Whew, I'm out of breath. Um... And there we go. So now we go to our coach game plan and where is here we go Dennis Dennis Smith Jr. Who's not supposed to be starting here? Winslow isn't. So do that. And then I do that. Okay. Uh, let's see, so do that, and then I want Josh Richardson, ah, uh, we don't have room for him, okay, and then we have 27 extra minutes, jeez, uh, well in that case, Rich, oh, Richardson's already at 37, okay, well, Dennis Smith Jr., he's gonna go to 36, Abrinas can go there, George is gonna go up to 40, Favors 37, Aiton's at 41. What does he need a what, less time? All right, we'll put Aiton 39, Dennis Smith at Jr. at 39, Abrinas 34, Festus Azili can have nine. Um, then. We'll just give five extra minutes to our starting five, so one to all of them. Okay, there we go. Anyways, we take on the San Antonio Spurs. Eh, I don't really want to play the Spurs. We take on the Boston Celtics in this one. The Heat, 26 and 21. We are fifth in the East. Sixth now as we lose to the Clippers as well. Still at six, but we have lost five games in a row. We break that with a win over the Pelicans. And we lose to the Pistons. We have dropped to seventh. Are we able to beat the Celtics, who are on a roll this year? Let's see who the Celtics will wear. her. Celtics will wear those Boston uniforms. Miami will wear those Miami ones. Let's let's get this game going. Hopefully, Dennis Smith is going to be able to help out our team, as uh, Mr. Isaiah Whitehead was just not cutting it as our starting point guard. Kyrie Irving, he's having an absolutely crazy good season this year. Like, he's t averaging 25.1 points a game. And Paul George, 25.4. Like, it's, both players are doing good. Both Irving and George. But, I mean, Kyrie has a better supporting cast. Paul George, I mean, I think, in, maybe, not, maybe not this year, but the year after, we'll be able to do something big. Um, because we got, like, we got the, the, like, Aiton will have a year under his belt. Um, and, yeah, just all around our team is going to be a bit better. Josh Richardson, he's young, so he's going to have one more year of experience. And, and just all around, everybody's going to be a bit more prepared, I guess. And Aiton cannot win the tip. And now Dennis Smith Jr. guards Kyrie Irving. First time we see him in a Heat uniform. He contests the shot well enough, so Irving misses. He takes a quick three, and he hits it. And Dennis Smith shows 
that he wants to stay here in Miami. All right, that's passed out to Gordon Hayward. Paul George guarding, and that is no good from Al Horford. Smith turns it over. Okay. So because of him, we do still have the lead. And Irving is good on a layup, and it is a 3-2 heat lead. Oh, he crosses up Kyrie. Pass into Aiton. Out to Paul George for three. No good. I'm, I have not played 2K for a while, so, I mean, I am a bit rusty. Oh, pass that to Irving. I didn't think he'd shoot that. Jalen Brown able to get the rebound and one. Foul called on DeAndre Aiton. Brown hits, and the Celtics lead 5-3. Oh, crossover. He just broke Kyrie's ankles. Pass out to Paul George, who hits for three. But Lance Stevenson just broke Kyrie Irving's ankles. You know, Kyrie wants a little revenge for that one. Though, he was able to try. He was able to get away from Stevenson. From Smith, sorry. I'm not sure um, how great <laughs> Smith is actually on defense, seeing as he's just not guarding Kyrie well at all. But, I mean, he can get things done on offense like he gets that assist there to DeAndre Ayton. Ayton's averaging almost 20 points a game. He's having a very good rookie season. And if he doesn't win Rookie of the Year, I'm going to be pretty upset. Pass out to Kyrie Stevenson. Can't get there. And the Celtics lead by three. Or sorry, I, uh, I keep getting Lance Stevenson mixed up with Dennis Smith Jr. Sorry about that. It's going to probably happen for a bit, but I'll have to get used to it. And George is off again. It's a three point Celtic lead. No good. Rebound favors. Pass up to Smith Jr. for three. No good. Aiton. Wow. Are you going to... Uh, would they give Aiton the rebound for that one? Not sure. Uh, okay. He should have hit that three, though. Gordon Hayward. What are you doing? Dennis Smith Jr. shooting foul and one. Kyrie, if Kyrie misses this, then he's just bad. He's not bad. And it's a six-point lead for the Celtics. Festus Azili hits for two. There we go. Hopefully that'll get us back on track. Kyrie, he's still in after our subs enter. All right. Here we go. Kyrie hits again, of course. Why wouldn't he? George can't get by Irving, has to pass out. Abrinas, he tried going in, he wasn't able to. But Aiton can, and he dunks it. DeAndre Aiton. There we go, Paul George on Irving. And he's going to get clubbed for a reaching foul. All right. Now Kyrie being guarded by George. And Jason Tatum, who looks like he's a bit injured, but he's still out here playing tonight. Oh! That Festus Azili hits that one up into the fourth row. Wow. Not in his house. Every court is Festus Azili's house, too. Tatum misses. Josh Richardson, he gets the rebound. Pass to Paul George. Can't hit. Three-pointer. Jason Tatum sinks it. Seven-point lead. Paul George only three points here in the first quarter. He needs to get a couple more. That might be what he just did. Of course it is. Now, 
it is only a five point Celtic lead. And Paul George, he's just not having a great first quarter. Richardson guards it well. Rebound, Aiton. Paul George. Can't hit. Doesn't get the shooting foul call. And Irving puts that in for a layup. Here we go. I know how much time at 11 seconds we have to cross. There we go. You know that the Heat are probably going to hold that. And he sinks it. Point two seconds left. The end of the first. Paul George hits for three to close it out. But um, the one should have been a buzzer beater too. That was just a bad quarter in general for the Heat. All right. I guess that was DeAndre Ayton taking a shot. I didn't know he took. All right. Let's do this. What is this? Oh, yeah. Oh, are those are all are those our all stars? I don't think those were our all stars. Not sure. Maybe. Like that might be the all star teams. I didn't think we were actually that close to the all star break though. All right, Paul George, hopefully going to have a better quarter this time than he did last quarter. Crosses up Scary Terry and puts it in. All right, that's a good way to start the quarter. Scary Terry Rozier. He, he's getting up there in age, but he's still a very good basketball player. Tatum hits just barely, though. That one was... That one almost fell out. Paul George once again going to drive and once again going to hit. Nobody's going to stop him, then why stop driving? Back court by... What are you doing? Paul George's second foul of the game as... Who's that? Derek Favors? Down. No, Dennis Smith Jr. re-enters the game. Dennis Smith Jr. had a terrible first quarter. I mean, it was horrendous. Tate, whoa, okay. Okay, I see you, Mar Morris. I see you. Oh, Paul George is out of the game, okay. Josh Richardson can't hit. Marcus Smart. Oh, no, apparently just no, Garrett Favors is not happy with that shot, all right, now Jalen Brown for three, no good, Josh Richardson the rebound, he's going to pass that up to Festus Azili, out to Dennis Smith Jr., who misses again. I wish we would have gotten Stevenson out of that trade, but who cares, right? And it spins out. Okay. Derek Favors. He takes a three. Something that he did a lot in the first year of him on the Heat, and then he started messing up all the time, so I stopped him from taking them. Now I see why. And... Heat call a timeout. All right, here we go. All right, let's do this. DeAndre Ayton checks into the game, and he's going to have to take control if we want to come back in this one. He hits a two-pointer there. He has six points in the game so far. Six points in the game so far. Hopefully he's going to add on that. 
And that is good for three from Gordon Hayward. And Aiton going to drive pass out to Dennis Smith, who had an easy pass to Derek Favors and he airballed it. You don't know what you did? I can tell you what you did, but it'd take too long. All right, here we go. Harry Rozier with it. Okay, not terrible defense there. Oh, Aiton blocks it. Abrinas picks it up. He's taking it down the court. Pass in to Josh Richardson, who puts it up for the layup, and it is a five-point game off the block from DeAndre Aiton. Here we go. Oh, backward, behind the back pass to Rozier. And he hits. All right, well, you see the Celtics. They're actually not as good on field goals as the Thunder. Or, sorry, as the Heat. Yet. Um, yet the uh, Heat have a lower score than them. Okay, there. No. Aiton gets his own rebound, puts it back up. How is he not getting a shooting foul call there? All right, I need to send Aiton back to college. He needs to get a degree in salesman's or whatever a salesman would take, and then maybe he'll do better. No, oh, he doesn't need any call there. Dunks it. And Derek Favors can't block the pass. It's an 11-point lead for the Celtics with less than a minute left here in the, the first half. As Smith gets tossed to the ground, and he doesn't get a call. All right. Here we go. Gordon Hayward not being guarded by anybody, and he hits for three. Josh Richardson. Ooh, great three-pointer from him, and it's a nine-point game. Great three-pointer. De I'll definitely take that from him any day. All right, Rozier can run the time down all he wants. We still get time after the shot clock runs out for them. Oh, and it hits the rim, and that is halftime. A nine-point lead for the Boston Celtics. Now your 2K Sports halftime show. So, the first quarter, yeah, it was... Oh, never mind. I thought that was a different shot. It was uh, pretty good for the Celtics. That was the second quarter. That was the only shot, what's his name, is hit. Dennis Smith has hit. Paul George, he started heating up a bit that quarter, but then he got taken out. Second quarter, this is where Paul George started doing work. And, uh, well, blocks. The Heat have three more. Though the Celtics have 5% higher on their field goal percentage. So... Yeah, when Kyrie has 15 and then our highest player is DeAndre Ayton with 8, we have a problem. Hopefully we can solve it in the second half and we can start getting the ball to move around a bit better and uh, be able to beat these Celtics. Not going to be easy, but it is possible. The Heat get the ball to start the quarter. Here we go, Paul George with it. He's going to drive. He will put it up, and that's how the quarter will begin. Paul George has 14 points, apparently. Yeah, apparently he's not our highest scorer. And the rest of the team has 20. 
So he's obviously, as usual, carrying the load. He always carries this team. The, the wins we have are because of him. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Jalen Brown has to rush the shot, and because of that, he will not hit. Now DeAndre Ayton, he's going to drive. He'll put it up, and that is no good. Pretty much airballed because he was shoved, and he didn't get the foul call. 11-foot jumper from Jalen Brown is good. Okay, Smith passes that out to Paul George. How? George, he has to try and catch up with Hayward. Oh, wow, nobody caught up with Gordon Hayward, but Aiton does bring in the rebound. Abrina stops and shoots. How do you miss? And here we go. And no good, Paul George, the rebound. He's going to have to try and take that all the way himself, and he will. Seven-point game, Celtics call a timeout. They're probably trying to discuss a way to stop Paul George. I don't know if there is a way to stop him, but they have to keep doing what they're doing because, well, all they have to do is, like, guard the rest of the team. The rest of the team's not doing anything. Paul George is doing everything. Aiton's the only other player on the team who's helping at all. Great. Favors gets the rebound. Pass to Paul George. An easy wide open three. And it is a four point game. Paul George is clawing back with the help of nobody. Oh, Aiton almost picked up a steal there. Alright, here we go. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Oh! Yeah, an Under Armour Unleashed Chaos moment. Ooh. He'd have to call a timeout after that one. Wow. That was crazy. Alright, six point game. All right, Dennis Smith Jr., he's taking it up. He's going to pass that to Richardson, to George. Paul George. He has to be the LeBron of Miami right now. And I, and I don't mean when LeBron was on Miami. I mean he has to do what LeBron did to get the Cavs to the uh, finals right now. And he has to do that if he wants the Heat to win this game. And that dunk shows that he will do anything in his power to win this game. The Heat have not been getting it done. DeAndre Ayton sends that one out of TD Garden. Wow. Here we go. Oh, that was a great play by them. Kyrie got left open, but he still can't hit. Junior, Dennis Smith Jr. Pass it to Aiton. Aiton to George. Paul George gets the shooting foul called. Alright, there's one. And two. It is a two point lead for the Celtics. How are the Heat doing this? It looked like there was no chance they were going to come back after the first quarter. But now it's a four-point game here in the third. I thought he'd just keep going for the layup. He didn't, though. Oh, a dunk from Paul George and one. It can be a one-point game. And it is. And Miami is in the bonus with a minute and 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Dennis Smith Jr. guarding Kyrie tightly. 
And that shot is good from Gordon Hayward. It is a three-point game. That was a terrible pass. Aiton somehow able to handle it. Paul George going to drive. And he is fouled on the shot. Miami, like I said, in the bonus. But it was a shooting foul, so that doesn't really matter. Paul George, if he hits this, he is at 28 points this game. Trying his hardest to win this game for the Miami Heat. But he has no help right now. Oh, that is stuffed by, I believe, Derek Favors. George picks it up. And pass to Derek Favors. No, what are you doing? I went to pass it to the wide open. Paul George in the corner. The ball rolls out of bounds, and it is Celtics ball. 30 seconds left in the quarter. Kyrie hits for two. And now George... It's just made things a lot more difficult for him to help this team claw back. And he gets robbed of a foul call there. And the end to this quarter is not going well at all for the Miami Heat. As Kyrie Irving is starting to heat up. In the outside of the arc for three. Paul George and it is a two point game. Three. Two. One. Irving hits! Kyrie Irving hits it! Oh, and Dennis Smith Jr. almost hit it as well. Kyrie Irving. What should have been a buzzer beater. He hits at least .2 seconds on the clock. And the Celtics lead it by five going into the fourth quarter. Oh, that shot from Kyrie may have just won the game for Boston. Let's do it. Let's come back and win this. All right. Eric, our coach, telling our team to do something, which is something that they're not doing. And, they, and the Celtics have their core of, it doesn't even matter, Paul George the steal. He's going all the way, and it is good. Three-point game. George guarding Kyrie all the way, not going to let up. Not going to let up at all. Jalen Brown, no good, but it's rebounded and put up good by Williams. And Paul George, he drives, he puts it up, it's good. Three-point game again. Paul George, he's just guarding the ball. Now Abrinas guarding Brown, stolen by Abrinas. Paul George going to pass it out. Paul George drives. No good. He doesn't get the shooting foul call. You can tell that is what he was looking for. And one. Are you kidding me? What are these referees looking at? Five-point game. Brown can make it a six-point game, and he will. The Heat call a timeout. Paul George, he has to be like incredibly mad at the refs and his teammates. And let's see if he'll somehow find a way to get, to, uh, get this back to a pretty close game with, like, no time left. He gets a shooting foul there. That one called on Al Horford. Pass the ball, Rev, any year now. Thank you. Paul George hits his first. And he hits the second. Four-point game. All right, George guarding Irving. All right, here we go. Let's do this. 
Just got to guard it. Josh Richardson guards it well enough. Aiton gets the rebound. Guards it well enough that the shot won't fall, but Kyrie like slap Paul George in the face and he doesn't get the call. Jalen Brown hits a three. That could be the dagger that I always talk about. All right, here we go. Now Paul George is going to have to kick it into overdrive. He is going to have to hack the system if he wants to come back in this one. Oh, my. Irving hits for three, and that's game. 12-point game. There's no coming back now. Paul George would actually have to make a miracle happen to come back here. Like, nine-point game. George is trying his best not to just, like, collapse on the court after doing everything this game. But, I mean, I don't even care if he does, as long as he's okay, because he's the only thing actually happening for the Heat this game. Oh my, then DeAndre Ayton can't get an easy rebound. Derek Favors fouls another guy. Miami has lost. Mm. Miami Heat have lost. 12 point game. Paul George needs four unanswered three-pointers. But he's not able to hit anything right now. He's tried his best. He's done everything he could. But this game is over. Oh, my. Somebody stop him. Thank you. Let's go. This team is so terrible. Georgie hits a three. Now he just needs one. And then two, three. He needs like four more and then a two-pointer to win. And then that's, that's saying that the Celtics don't even hit a shot. That's game. That is game. Al Horford, he has six points. Paul George, now, I mean, it's a little too late now. I mean, he has hit two threes in a row, but there's no point. Paul George, he takes it back up the court. We already know what's going to happen. He's, he's going to take a three. He's going to hit it. It won't matter. It's a nine-point game. Can he hit three threes in less than, in like 25 seconds? No, because he needs more than three threes. Paul George is actually doing everything he possibly can. Like... He really can't do any more. There's not much more that he's able to do. The game's over. No, let him go. Let him go. That is game Celtics win. That's the end of this episode. Final score is 6980. I want to look at what Paul George did because he's the only player who did anything um, Paul George Let's see no 
No, maybe that's the wrong thing. Box score. Paul George, 46 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal. He was 50% from field goal. DeAndre Ayton, he had 8 points. Josh Richardson had 8. Dennis Smith Sr. or Jr., whatever it is. They both sucked. He had 5. Festus Zewi had 2. And then Abrinus and Fabers both didn't even score. Wow. Well, I don't even know what to say there. This game was terrible. Absolutely terrible. It was horrendous. Next episode, All-Star Break. I hope you enjoyed. Peace.